It's the afternoon of November 13, 2011, at the Fort Pierce, Florida airport. The pilot of a Beach Baron is preparing to depart VFR for Trenton, New Jersey. Uh, Fort Pierce, ground Baron, 125, Charlie Golf. Baron, calling Fort Pierce, uh, ground ticket. Yes, sir, it's uh, 15 Charlie Golf. Uh, we are Baron at the Jet Center, uh, taxiing to runway 10 right with Oscar. Baron 15 Charlie Golf, Fort Pierce Ground, runway 10 right, taxi via left on Charlie, right Charlie 8, hold short of runway 14. On Charlie, right on Charlie, say again. Due to construction on the airport, several taxiways are closed, with the result that any aircraft taxiing from the GA ramp to the largest of the field's three runways, 10 right, 28 left, has to taxi on or across runway 1432. Baron, uh, 5 Charlie Golf, say direction of flight and wind uh, 12012. Yes, our direction of flight will be to the north. Baron, 5 Charlie Golf, amend runway assignment, runway 14, intersection Charlie 8, taxi via Charlie. 14, taxi via Charlie, intersection departure at Charlie. Baron, 5 Charlie Golf, it's uh, intersection runway 14, intersection Charlie 8. Charlie A. No, Baron, uh, 5 Charlie Golf, Charlie 8, number 8. Ah, gotcha. Charlie, number 8, intersection departure. Thank you very much. With the confusion apparently resolved, the ground controller turns his attention to other aircraft, and the Baron begins to taxi. Meanwhile, a Rockwell commander is entering a left downwind for landing on runway 14. 4 out of 1 2 Whiskey, runway 14, clear to land, wind 0 out of 0 at 8. Shortly thereafter, Baron 5 Charlie Golf reaches the hold short position for runway 14, stops briefly, and then starts to move again. It crosses the hold short line and continues toward runway 14, the same runway in which the commander is about to land. The tower and ground controllers see the incursion at the same time. Stop! Stop! Baron! Stop! Baron, stop on the runway. Stop immediately. By the time it stops, the Baron is entirely on the runway. Fortunately, the pilot of the commander sees it in time and is able to take evasive action. He lands safely, but still comes within 100 feet of the wayward aircraft. Baron, stop. Sorry about that. I want Bob Charlie Golf. Uh, I got a phone number for you. Need to call when uh, you get to your destination. After the incident, the pilot of Baron 5 Charlie Golf said that he had been doing his run-up and hadn't noticed the aircraft creeping past the hold short line, a fairly common mistake in high-performance aircraft. The aircraft traveled roughly 320 feet beyond the holding position before coming to a stop. Regardless of the direct cause of the incursion, however, there are other factors worth examining here. First is the pilot's apparent confusion during his initial discussion with ground control, which indicates that he may not have studied potential taxi routes beforehand, given the airport construction. Second is ATC's change of runway assignment from 10 right to 14. This would have been easy to overlook or forget, since the initial taxi routing was the same for both. Together, such issues would have made it relatively easy for a pilot to lose positional awareness on the airport, or simply forget that runway 14 was the taxi limit. Although this incursion apparently resulted from nothing more than cockpit distraction and bad timing, there were still other factors at work that clearly increased the odds of a mishap. 